Good morning, everybody. My name is Erin Louie Hing, and here is a day in my life as a first year student in biomedical and electrical engineering. I start off each of my mornings by stretching. When you're sitting at a computer at a desk for 12 hours of the day, it's really important to find ways to loosen up and keep your body moving. So stretching in the morning feels great and keeps my muscles moving. And so I don't feel super tense at the end of each day because I've gotten some movement. As well as finding times to get up during the day and just walk around a little bit is really important during such a long time at a computer and sitting down. Once I'm done stretching for the morning, I get ready for the day and then I take all my stuff to my desk and I find breakfast. Usually I just like to find a breakfast that'll make me happy to start my day by eating that. I usually like to have a fruit and today's breakfast of choice was a croissant. It's really important to have a good breakfast because especially with a heavy workload in engineering, you want to make sure that you have fuel to think really hard and so that you don't feel as tired throughout the day. After breakfast, it's time for me to make sure I know what I gotta get done today. So this means if I haven't done it the night before, I go into my agenda and I look at my calendar and I write down what absolutely needs to get done today, what lectures do I have, what assignments are due soon. And then I open up my iPad and this is where I start to get ready for my first task of the day. Part of this process is also looking at my assignment tracker. It's a really easy way that I got from Google templates to keep track of what I'm doing and what needs to get. Then I hook up my computer to my monitor and it's time for me to get going with work. Using bookmarks is a really handy thing to get to see you learn really easily each morning. And this is where you click on your class and you find your lectures. Here I am in my mechanics Zoom call office hour with my prof getting help on the assignment that I was working on. Asking questions is a really important thing to do because whether it's in a Zoom call or in an actual classroom, I think asking questions is a really simple way of getting help with what confuses you. And if you don't get help with what confuses you and figure it out, it's going to show up in your learning, whether it's on a test or your midterm or your exam. It's best to just find help, whether it's from a classmate or your prof in their office hours so that you don't continue making the same mistakes. When I'm studying or working on assignments, I often use the Pomodoro effect. This is an easier way to make you focus for just a short amount of time. You set your task that you want to complete, you set your timer for 25 minutes, and then you get going with your assignment, and you know that you're going to have a break in the next 25 minutes. Here's a quick snippet of what my notes look like for one of my classes. This is my dynamics class. And then we have a snippet of what your Pomodoro break looks like. You get a five minute break and then once you do four of the 25 minute increments, you get a 15 minute break. Make sure you keep drinking water throughout the day and finding snacks because you can get lost in time when you're at a desk all day. Next, it was time for me to join my PA session for dynamics, which is where we went over practice problems based off of our last lecture. It's a really good way to clear up my understanding of the concepts and again, to ask more questions. Then because Mondays are my easiest day, I got a break all the way till 4.30, which is amazing. I got to eat my lunch slowly and take a long break to myself before getting right back at it and doing another dynamics lecture. Another piece of advice I have is making sure that you find your tree for your program. This is a really easy way to make sure that you're keeping up with what classes you're supposed to be doing. And it's a really interesting way to see what's coming up for the future in the next few years of your program. Next, I joined my pass, which was peer assisted study session for my mechanics class. There I am in the Zoom call, making sure to participate. And then it was time for me to send some emails as well as respond to some emails for my role as first year rep. 
not too long after it was time for another break so that i could stop and have dinner tonight was taco monday then as one of the first year representative on carlton student engineering society it was time to join the council meeting listen to reports and share my report and before packing up i decided to work on a chemistry lab and look into an elective i want to take in the summer and then it was finally time to pack up and rest for the day. So don't forget to rest and take breaks because it's really, really important to take care of yourself. It benefits you at the end of the day, as long as it's in moderation, of course. And then that's it for my day. I do my night routine, I head to bed, and then I start again for my next schedule on Tuesday.